G'day and welcome back to the Department of Southern Armaments Research. Today we're going to be going through this rather strange collection of firearms. However, they all have two things in common. One, they're all tube fed. And secondly, they're all featured in the game Hunt Showdown. Now, I'm a bit of a gamer. Hunt Showdown is one of the uh, it's probably one of the better examples of a, of a of a good gun game out there at the moment. So I'm going to show you through some of the rifles that you can unlock in the game, or you might be able to purchase if you got yourself a, a license here at the Australian Arms Auctions. This is a Winchester 1886. This one is a commemorative model with the uh, with the brass receiver, which has got some beautiful detailing on it. And this is an example of the very first rifle which you unlock in the game, which is the Winfield 1873. So standard lever action. As you can see there, um, the game actually models all the internals when you actually move the levers. I am not going to fire this without letting the hammer down. And they've gone through great lengths to show it moving in an accurate fashion. This one's got the short mag, which is the main reason why I picked this one up. It's not quite the same as the one of the game, but a very good example of one right there. This one is an 18, uh, 1873, traditional full length magazine tube. And once again, a lot of detail has gone into making sure they get the little details right. Once again, not going to be dry firing these old rifles. They both load from the side through the loading gate. Um, yeah, great little cowboy rifles. This one here, so this one here is a Swiss Vedley, uh 1869 slash 71 infantry rifle. The one in game is the, car is the carbine or the carabiner version, which is obviously a little bit shorter. And once again, this actually tube fed. This is actually a rim fired cartridge. So I will not be dry firing it at all with a exposed cocking indicator, as you can see here right there. Um, see, an arsenal has done a very good video on this particular rifle and can go far more into the minutiae than I can. But this is just a, a cool example of a rifle which you don't see very often, um, which is actually here at the auction. It's got the very unique sights at the front, which adjust all the way up for all of your pretend artillery needs. Just a cool little bit of kit. Lastly, we have this guy here. Now, if you played Battlefield 1, you will recognize this as well. This is the French Lebel 1886. And once again, an example of a tube-fed military firearm. However, this one is actually loaded through the, through the ejection opening. Um, I honestly, once again, don't know much about this rifle myself. There are people out there who have done much better videos and we'll put links to them in the description if you want to go into the minutia. Um, but once again, cool little rifle, 
something which you don't normally see in the game in games that often. Um, a lot of them tend to focus on the more traditional cowboy stuff of the era, which was things like these leave your actions. But nonetheless, cool little bits of history. Every single one of these rifles is available uh, for you to bid on here at the Australian Arms Auction um, here in, in October 2019. Um, some of these can even be um, can even be owned on just a normal AB license. Um, they're rep there are uh, replicas, reproductions of these levers, which are readily available. Um, there's even an entire sport dedicated to it: cowboy action shooting. So all that good stuff there. If you like this sort of thing and would like to know uh, more about things you can find on the auctions and other shooting videos as well, you can find us on Facebook at, at the Department of Southern Armaments Research. Um, feel free to like, share and subscribe and come up with something that you'd like to see in a game that, which isn't featured very often. This one here, I didn't even know existed um, before I saw a game like Hunt. Um, apparently it did actually it did actually make it into one of the DLCs of Battlefield 1, um, but as that game died pretty quickly, I don't think many people actually end up seeing it. So, until next time. Is a little bit different. Now this is the Vettelie. I'm looking for a nod. Vettelie? Yeah, alright.